Um, I'd like also to hear from um, Josephine. I know Josephine, you've done some components on human rights. So we were looking at the statistics in relation of demystifying the, the, the FGM and why it's important in our, in our society. And Bashir has shared with us that when you look at the cultural perspective, he said that um, FGM uh, in Somali culture is actually based strongly on culture and tradition and a sense of recognition. And we've mm -hmm. seen articles coming about where we've seen also Taita Taveta, there's some, um, some form of female genital mutilation taking place. Other communities are, are, are engaging in the cut. Maybe you can let us highlight to us why exactly do you think this is a practice? Yes. Oh, okay. thank you. Thank you, Maureen. Um, I'm thinking FGM is a practice because of the cultural interests and most of the girls are forced into it. I would say forced because nobody is given a choice or an option. Do you want to go for FGM or not? It is a forced culture posed upon the girls and leaves a traumatic experience to the girl for the rest of her life. So one, it is an identification that I've become a woman. Although in Taita Taveta, they practice it when girls are very young, young that they don't even know what is happening. Unlike other uh, tribes where they practice it when girls are a bit older. It is a, it is a form of an identification that you've become a woman because in other cultures, in other parts of the, in, uh, of the country, once one has gone through FGM, it's like a go ahead for you to start practicing or engaging into sexual intercourse or engaging into sexual matters. And then there's that peer pressure that you have not gone through the cut. So you're not a woman or you don't belong. And I understand there are some tribes that have even a nickname for those who have not gone through the cut, which again poses a lot of stigma throughout. You can imagine being called by that name throughout your life just because you didn't go through a culture that was forced upon you. So I would say it is basically, uh, culture plays a big role. I'm not sure if religion has, but culture plays a big role and also community interests because this community would want to be identified like our women have gone through this. So we offer the best because they've gone through this and the myth that it reduces libido or it reduces extramarital or moral, um, it brings up a girl in a moral character, in a moral right way. That, that's a all myth. Right. That's all I can say. All right.